Good, Good morning, morning, Lancaster Catholic. Catholic. I'm Marina Torres. And I'm Annie Skian. Today is Friday, January 9th, 2015. Scheduled Day A, Rotation 8-9. In clubs and meetings, Triad Music Honor Society meets today at 3 p.m. in the band room. All student ambassadors are asked to attend a meeting in campus ministry during their lunch period today. All FBLA members who qualified for the State Leadership Conference must see Mr. Sharp sometime today. Administration News. With winter weather upon us, here is some important transportation information regarding the E-Town, Ephrata, and Holy Trinity buses. If the E-Town or Ephrata school district is delayed or closed, the buses will follow their own school district schedule, not LCHS's. For all students riding the Holy Trinity bus, the bus will run according the Lancaster Catholic schedule. If we are delayed or closed, this is what the Holy Trinity bus will follow. If you are missing a lost item, please see Ms. Sharp in the main office. We have a number of lost and found items that have been here for a very long time. If these items are not picked up by next Friday, January 16th, they will be donated or thrown out. Here are some reminders as we get ready for our midterm exams next week. It's really important that you don't have any conflicts in your exam schedule, like if you have two midterms happening at the same time. Don't wait until the last minute to alert Mrs. Shomo of a conflict. She will give you a form to fill out for your teachers. Please remember that all students must leave the building immediately after their first, after their last exam each day. If you need to wait for a bus, please wait in the cafeteria. There may be testing still going on and it is really important that a quiet environment be maintained, especially in the lobby areas. Once out of the building, Students may not re-enter without a valid purpose. Parents should note that supervision will not be provided between the end of the third final and the end of the normal school day. And, after all that thinking, you might need some food. The FBLA will have its concession stand open after midterm exams next week. You can buy Papa John's pizza, walking tacos, hot dogs, plus snacks and drinks. Cash only and come hungry. Thanks for following all of these rules for midterm exams, which provide an organized and fair testing environment for all students. Study hard and good luck. And don't stress, remember that summer break is less than five months away. In general announcements, JV and Varsity Softball will have their first winter practice this Sunday from 7 to 8 p.m. in Spooky Nook. Bring all your gear. Also, workouts will start next Monday and Wednesday after school in the weight room. Some post-holiday sales are coming to Catholic High. The athletic department will be holding a yard sale next Thursday, January 15th, at, beginning at 11 a.m. in the cafeteria. You can buy discounted uniforms, jackets, and equipment at great prices. Stop by and see what the yard sale has for you. The LCHS Help Desk is holding a free class this coming Monday, January 12th, for adults and seniors to help them learn how to use their new devices. Sign-up information is on the LCHS website. Lancaster Catholic is preparing to hold our next open house Sunday, January 25th. And this year we are adding a new take to how we spread the word. Mark Goldbach is here with two special guests to explain. Hello, Lancaster Catholic. I'm here with Admissions Counselor Mrs. Hockley and Student Ambassador Maria Blitzky. So, Ms. Hockley, tell us a little about what Open House is. Open House is really our chance to bring the community in and show them what we are all about. Um, a chance for our students to enter into that conversation and demonstrate who we are and what we do. Students have the opportunity to see what a classroom is like, hear about our clubs and activities, meet the faculty, and in general have a great time hanging out with us. And Maria, I've heard that you've been able to bring a lot of people into Lancaster Catholic. Uh, how do you manage to bring Lancaster Catholic into conversation? Well, normally when people, when people talk to me about Lancaster Catholic, they're normally parents of 8th graders. So, you know, I'll talk to them about, you know, what grade I'm in, um, what I want to major in in college. I'll tell them stories about stuff that's happened at school and then normally get some interested to check out Lancaster Catholic a little bit more. And Ms. Hockley, aside from generating interest through word of mouth and conversation, what are some more concrete steps that students can take to help the open house? I would love it. Um, with the big social media push this year, it would be awesome for the students to find our Facebook posts if they're not popping in your newsfeed, share them. Tag your friends in them that you think would have interest in Catholic High. Retweet what we're putting out there. Um, really just go that extra mile, too, with the personal ask mm -hmm. and invitation. Okay, thank you to Mrs. Hockley and Maria Blitzky.
For more information on the open house, visit the school website. Thanks, guys. Now here's Stefan Gero Facilis for a quick sports report. On Tuesday night, Joe Zoukas and Tom Gonzalez each scored 14 points to lead the Crusaders to a 53-50 come-from-behind win over Columbia. And the girls' basketball team continues their undefeated league season as they also beat Columbia 68-34. And congrats to the boys' and girls' swim teams who took victories of 88-82 and 97-72 over Conestoga Valley last night. I'm Stefan Jervisillis. We have some very exciting news about one of our own classmates. Matthew Compagno was named a semifinalist in the Intel Science Talent Search 2015 in a program of Society and Science for the Public. He is one of just 300 high school seniors selected nationwide. Semifinalists will compete for more than a million dollars in reward in Washington, D.C., March 5th to 11th. Good luck, Matt, and thanks for representing LCHS. Early dismissals. Bowling dismisses at 2.30 for a 2.40 departure, and boys' freshman basketball dismisses at 2.20 for a 2.30 departure. Have a great day, Crusaders. Crusaders.